Hello all, this is lesson number five for Varicad training course. And the name of this lesson is dealing with Varicad 2D and 3D files. The first function we are able to see here in this lesson is under the file menu and is the new file, create new file. This function is available in both 2D or 3D environments. Let us see it under the 2D, which is the environment where we are now. So, new and a new dialog box is open. So before the new file is open, we can set some properties for this new file. In this case, we can set the units in either millimeters or inches. We can select a 2D format, in this case by default is the A3, and the scale, okay? The scale is one per one, but it can be other values or defined by the user. To note that the drawing scale in 2D affects dimensions, arrows, text, and other annotations. There are other properties which are visible um, and these properties are related to the grid that we can see on the 2D side. Basically, this 5 by 5 display and highlight 50 by 50. Okay? We can set all these values under this button. Okay? We can change the values. Uh, and we can say to the program to display the grid or not. I think it's an added value, so I will keep the grid displayed. So, keep in mind these values, 5 by 5 and 50 by 50. I will say now start in 2D, and the new file is created. Now, if you see careful, you see some dots a little more highlighted, and others a little less highlighted. So these dots more highlighted are the ones defined with 50 millimeters apart. And the other small ones are the five by five. So I will put a little closer and we can see that if from this dot to this dot is 50, we have 10 points here, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And on the y-axis is the same. So this is not a function, it's something that is uh, a help for the user when he's drawing in 2D. So an example is uh, a line and now the program asks me for an endpoint to, to start, and I will use this location here, nearest grid point. So I will zoom in a little. I will get a little closer of this highlighted point, okay? And it grabbed me automatically. And now you can see that the cursor moves freely on the screen, okay? as we already spoke about in the previous lessons. But if I go to this tools menu and the function ortho and step mode, I can put the cursor moving in increments and define those increments. So I will use this set increments of cursor. I will say five each time. And again, I will define a new starting point so that we can see near this highlighted point and then now you can see that the cursor moves every five millimeters this is what it does this function it's quite easy and uh, if we are drawing in dimensions that are um, known and in this case multiples of five then it is a good uh, and fast way to draw it. So, moving to other functions <coughs> is related to this uh, file new. 
uh, when the dialog box open, we, you can see that it has already some properties uh, that are assumed by the program, but we can set these programs to be different. So if we come here, the tools menu and come here to the set default attributes of a new file, um, almost the same dialog box is opened. So, and here we can choose a different configuration for what is shown. So, for example, I will change just one property because it, we, we can do it for all of them. So, I will use by default the inches. And now, okay. So, if I do the file, new file, now it's possible to see that everything is the same, but the units are set to inches, okay? So, the idea to, to keep in this particular case is that we can set which properties are shown when we start a new file. So, I will cancel this, I will put it as the, in the installation, the, the standard installation does in millimeters, okay, and I'm, I'm, go I'm going okay now. Uh, other functions we have available under the file menu is the, one of them is the open an existing file. So basically what it does is open something that is already done. So I will go on a folder where I have some files, some sample files, and I will use, for example, sample one open and it's open. It's something that already is done. Um, there is another interesting function related to opening a file, also under this menu, which is open recent files. And here, all the recent files shown are available. Instead of us looking uh, under the folders, uh, we can go directly to all the latest files open. So it's quite easy. Um, we can have another option here, which is file and then close. And the close basically closes not the program, but only the active drawing. So I've done the close and the file I had open, the sample one closes and I, will, I, I keep what it was behind. So I can have several files open at the same times, uh, but only one is set to work each time, which is quite easy to understand. Uh, there are a couple more interesting functions under the file menu and under this command list files. The list files has two options. First, list 2D, 3D files. This is no more, no less than a basic preview of what is inside, okay? Uh, we can see what is inside in either of 2D or 3D. Um, it's a, a preview that helps us to, to check what is inside uh, instead of opening every file. Uh, this is one of the functions I will cancel. The other one is list text files, which is no more, no less than the basic editor that allow us to see what is inside a text file without opening it also. I will use this one, but probably it has no information. Okay, it has nothing, but uh, for you to keep is the basic editor. Uh, now we go to a different section, which is the save, okay? Uh, and the save has some, some interesting options. The first of, of, of the options is the basic save. And um, the basic save uh, works like um, I have to open first a s the sample one, for example. So you can see on top, okay, this is the sample one. And now if I go to the save, basically it just does a save, okay? I, I, I don't make any change, but basically it does a save with the exact same name, no, no questions about it. Um, 
Another possibility which I have regarding to the save is the save as. And the save as uh, is a little different from the previous function because uh, it will save the file but it allows me to say it with a different name and under a different type, okay? It's a save again, but it has these options. Um, besides these ones, I have the save selected, which is quite interesting because save selected allows me to choose some entities to save only these entities. So only this selected, I will do OK, and then I can put a name and save it. OK. Uh, it has uh, already some file, but no problem. I will say OK, rewrite it again. And now I'll try to open it, close the test. So test, open. And let us see, okay, as you can see, only these files are here. These files, pardon, these entities are inside. Um, there is another important function here, which is the insert objects from file. The insert objects from file works a little like uh, the blocks command. So I can open one drawing inside the other. So, for example, I have this, this file I, I save as a test and I will call the, the other file that I had, which was the sample one. Sample one, open. And now it asks me um, where to insert this. I can translate, defining a vector, or insert definitely, so it is inside. And the important thing here is that this works independent of the, from the 2D to the 3D. So I've inserted only the 2D entities because if you see it, this sample one has 2D and has 3D, but I inserted only the entities in on the same space, on the same environment where, where I was. So I will go again to the test, okay? And again, there are no 3D entities, only the 2D. Um, this is quite interesting because it the same was possible under the 3D environment. But um, it is quite good to work as uh, the same philosophy as the blocks, okay? Uh, finally, the last function um, of this lesson is something called, uh, first, un under the tools menu and uh, system settings, and it is something called automatic saf safety backups, okay? Just to, to understand this, now they are active and they are active by default, but you can disable them, okay? Uh, and it is possible to choose um, a folder directory, as you want to call it, to place those informations. Um, this is uh, quite interesting the way uh, the Varicad works with this function because most of the programs uh, work with these backups uh, like uh, uh, by time they define some some uh, um, uh, five minutes or ten minutes time time frame to to save a backup copy. Um, Varicad when is working uh, in in any uh, any file in two D or three D uh, when you modify or create more than two uh, not not uh, entities, but when you make more than two operations uh, on the on the file, it it, it saves. Um, uh, we we can call it uh, history to to be possible to recover. And if some problem happens, like uh, 
power uh, accident or the program crashes, when Varicad restarts again, it will recover, if it has the function, uh, turn it on, uh, it will allow you to recover the information that was lost. So it is a little different uh, uh, philosophy than most of the, of the CAD programs. So, and uh, with this information, uh, I end this lesson number five. I hope to see you in uh, on the next lesson, lesson number six. Bye.